Hi, this is Lisa from Pretty Paper Pretty Ribbons and I want to do a quick video today to show you how you can erase certain shapes or holes in your SVG files or studio files um, to get rid of those in case you want to you know alter the file a little bit. So for example um, with this little file here which is a superhero H file from Pretty Paper Pretty Ribbons um, from the Superheroes collection. Let's say that I like him but he looks a little too happy for the card that I want to make because I want to make him look angry um, like this superhero might be. So I want to get rid of these facial features. Um, the first thing I'd want to do is make sure that he is sized um, the way I want him to be sized, I'd have to ungroup him so I can get all the little pieces and start moving them around on my mat. Um, so for the sake of time, I've already done that here. Um, and if you see, I want to get rid of these holes because I don't want those to cut because I want to be able to draw my own face or stamp my own face there. Um, because I have a, a stamp that's a mad face that I want to put there. So the only reason, there's some pieces here now that I don't need because the only reason there's this black piece is so the pupils of the eyes and the um, eyebrows and the mouth will turn black. Well I don't need that so I'm going to take it off my mat. I'll also not need the eyes or the nose so that's why I dragged it off my mat. Alright, there's a couple of different ways I could get rid of these holes here. One way is I could take a circle, go up here and click draw an ellipse. I could draw one over this so that it covers all of those areas. Then if I select both of these, I can go to weld right here and weld it and it gets rid of it. I personally think that's the quickest way to do it. Um, but sometimes it's harder to do if it's a, a weird area. So I'm going to undo to show you a different way you could do that. Undo again, get rid of the circle. Alright, so I can also go to Object, Release Compound Path, and that gets rid of it. It takes those little pieces off, so I have to make sure to get those off of my mat or delete them. So that's another way to do it. So either way, we'll get rid of that face so that you have a nice clean area that has no holes in it so that you can stamp or draw your own face. Um, so that's it. Um, because this is an SVG, you would then want to make sure you um, have your cut edges set your cut style set so I went to this little scissors with the red line and made sure instead of no cut that it said cut you have to make sure it's all selected for that to work um, and then I'd send it to my silhouette and I'd have a nice face here for me to stamp my face onto um, so I hope that helped in case you were considering using some of these files um, in a different way I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for stopping by. Bye-bye.